Most of my paintings from recent years align with the place I call Smuggler's Cove. It's a utopian place where horses run wild, the mountains are verdant, the ocean is warm and clear, filled with sea life. People are living a joyful life of abundance. Mindful living is the norm. This is a place that I paint from. Uh, my name is Janie Fritchie. I was raised in Beaumont, Texas, and I moved here in 1981. Um, I was fortunate in my childhood because my mom had a very large extended family, and they helped each other build beach cabins. So a lot of my youth was spent at the beach, and for me it was such a source of joy. Uh, my dad passed away suddenly from a heart attack when I was nine years old, and I found my refuge in my family and in the beach there. So this love of the beach follows me always. And definitely, when I moved to San Francisco, it was one of the calling cards for moving here. I had the good fortune about seven years ago to uh, live in Hawaii for half a year. And it was really a thrilling opportunity. And my favorite thing was snorkeling, uh, sp specifically at Hanama Bay. And being able to swim with fish and see all the beautiful coral out in the depths was thrilling, and I knew that I was going to have to be painting that. But one of the things that I discovered is that the reefs there are in such devastating condition. Compared to when I was snorkeling at Hanama Bay several decades ago, there is a lot of destruction below the surface. And we don't see that because when you look out at the ocean, it looks like the same it's always been, but it's not. So that really put an interest in me of wanting to do what I could art-wise to present that as something to consider. Next, I began to think about the ecology of the shoreline and painted a series of large works called Becoming Sand. I was inspired by the colorful pebbles found along the shores of Marin Headlands, especially at Rodeo Beach. Over eons, rocks, quartz crystals, shells, and biomatter become grains of sand from the flow of water. Every grain is different. The sand of every beach is different. So after doing the series of Becoming Sand, it felt like the next evolution that caught my interest was thinking about tide pools and tides. And tide pools are the basis of life. And when you look at a tide pool, when you're walking out on the beach, it's like looking into a zoo. You see so many mysterious things. It's really kind of exciting. So it gave me an opportunity to start trying different ideas, maybe trying to put something that looks like a little creature in a tide pool, uh, trying to figure out ways to get that impression of the water rushing over the rocks, trying to capture the sparkle of the water. So it became a grand example of getting up from the depths of the sand, but getting on the ground level and looking at the water and how it might affect life as well as the sand and the rocks. The Say My Name portraits of George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, and Amon Arbery were a real change for me from what I'd been painting. I hadn't painted any of the uh, portraits of anyone for like 15 years. But when the devastation and horror of those murders became front page news, it just affected me so strongly. I felt like I had to do something. So painting was my natural release. So China Camp has become my refuge during these troubling times. Um, it's been my refuge for quite a while at various points in my life, but especially now. And I think part of it has to do with seeing all of the kids there playing. And there's such a diversity. Kids don't care what your nationality is. They just want to play and have a good time. At the same time, there's a certain level of energy at China Camp that's a bit hard to describe. But I think it has to do with the fact that it was a village for Miwoks for thousands of years. And it was also a village for Chinese immigrants for a very long time in their shrimping business. So there's a, a very historical background there that plays a part, I think, 
in the energy that's there. And it's one of the few places that you can go now where you can be outside and be with people and be by the water. It also ties in with my very strong feeling that there is a connection between land and ocean that relates to conscious and subconscious. I really feel like it's a place where you can go, forget about the worries that we currently have, that it can be overwhelming, and just relax. It's so important for us to learn to relax. It's where we can actually access so much that's going to feed us and feed the world. So this is what I find at China Camp. I really appreciate your taking the time to watch this video. It's a chronological sampling of my paintings for the last five to six years. If you want to see more of my work, my website is janiefritchie.com. My Instagram account is at janienow.